Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel Animal Orange where I build a lot of 3D metal models and show you how I do it. Today, on the table from Metal Earth, another Legends model, Thor, one of the Avengers. I've just about got caught up with all these models. Now this, I'm pretty sure, is an older style. If you don't know, they've re-released the original Legends models. When they came out with Guardians of the Galaxy models, Legends models, they had a newer design and it works better. I like it better. So they re-released the original set in the newer style with a different assembly process. So as you're following this video, if yours comes together a little differently, check out one of the Guardians of the Galaxy builds to see how those come together and that'll probably help you out. But today we're going to build this probably older style Thor model should be fairly easy. This is the older packaging so it doesn't have the difficulty scale but I'm guessing it's it's fairly easy. Not super easy but fairly easy. Let's open this up, see what's inside and put it together. Let's open up Thor. It's kind of funny, I think this is one of the first legends I, built, I bought. It's going to be one of the last I built. Oh, look at that. <coughs> There's two sheets in this one. One regular size sheet and one tiny sheep for his cape and the things on the side of his head and looks like one one piece of one arm and the instructions a lot of people probably watching this video I'm assuming have built metal earth models before and are somewhat familiar with how this works for those of you that aren't I will go over briefly the instructions I've opened up and folded it in half the sheet of instructions that come with, it's blank on the back because there's not a lot to this build, but you start off with the first quarter, which is labeled page one, with the Metal Earth logo, line drawing of the completed model, and the line drawing of the two sheets, which is also the, which is also numbered, I should say, so that you can find the parts in the sheets when you're in the assembly flow chart, it numbers the parts, you find the number, you find the part, and there you go. Down below you have a little section pointing out fold lines, insertion holes, insertion tabs, tabs going holes. Fold lines are just pre-scored areas where you fold the model. And then we have notation over here or legend as I call it. Blue circle when you see that in assembly flow chart by a connection it's telling you to insert a tab and fold it over 90 degrees. Green triangle is to insert and twist the tab. Twisted tabs are more secure. Folded tabs are neater and usually on the outside. And then you have your QR code that you can scan with your phone or just go to this web address and it gives you a 360 view of a completed model for reference. Down here starts the assembly flowchart starting with part one and showing you how that is folded. Bring that over here, it's actually pointing over here and then part two and they come together. And as you see here, blue circles, these are all folded over tabs. And then you slide over here and you've got part three and that attaches and you end up with that. And that's the basic gist of it. You come over here to continue with the assembly flow chart, and this is the right arm, and you just follow the arrows, shaping, folding, and connecting the parts as described. And once you get to the middle of the page, because I have this folded over, you flip and go to page three and continue on. And then, of course, page four. And when you get to the bottom, you are finished with your model. We've got a basic set of tools here to get me started. These models don't usually require a lot of tools. It helps tremendously to have some precision tweezers. I will use these a lot. I have a few different kinds, very pointed. Pointed ones that I've ground down and a flat set or just a regular set of tweezers can help. These actually came out of an Iconix kit that I bought and I love them. Some clippers to easily clip the parts off the tree so you don't bend and twist and, and mess them up. A couple of pliers from the Fascinations kit. I might not even use these. And it helps to have a pin or a dowel rod to shape the shoulders, usually the shoulders have a curve in it, and that's just about it. That should be enough to get you going. We've got the sheets, the instructions here. Let's put this together.
Getting this arm started was tricky. I had to kind of slow down and take my time with this one. If you can get two tabs started and bent over, it gets easier. Don't worry much about getting the angles of the legs right at first. You can make adjustments as you assemble the pieces later. I find that it makes more sense just what angle things should be when I see how the parts fit together. I would, however, suggest that you remember to fold the two triangular pieces on the front of the leg inward slightly. I forgot to do this.
I tend to twist these first tabs holding the legs together. It's a flimsy connection at first and trying to bend the tabs can have unpleasant results. I will come back later when the model is assembled and untwist and fold over these tabs for a neater look. I had an unusually tough time with the second foot. Sometimes the metal just seems to not want to bend to my wheel, pun intended. I had more trouble than usual getting these back tabs and slots lined up. Also, no reason other than sometimes things just don't want to go into place. It happens. Time to untwist and fold over those early tabs.
I am using version 2 of the long bending tool that I designed and 3D printed. I had trouble bending the thinner ends of the side of the cape. I will have to go back to the drawing board on this one. The top of Thor's head is quite a bit different than any of the other Legends models I have built. After assembling the head, the top triangular portion was knocked out of shape. I did my best to straighten it back up, but there's only so much I can do. It almost seems like the metal isn't big enough or doesn't line up correctly up there.
And I'm done. It's finished. Four is finished and complete. And I, you know, I just kind of want to say really quick that I find it a little bit funny personally that I built this model like right after watching the newest Thor movie, Ragnarok, where, you know, spoiler alert, he no longer has but one eye. So I found it kind of funny that right after building that, uh, or watching that movie that I built, the older style, two-eyed Thor, just kind of lightly amused me. But to talk about the model itself, this one was a little bit complex. Upon review of the amount of time it took me to build this, which I basically just count up the minutes that I recorded, and this comes up to 48 minutes. So just about an hour to put him together, and I'm pretty sure that makes him the longest Legends build thus far. Now, he is a bit complicated because he has a cape, not much. He has a couple of wing pieces on the side of his head, not much. And he has Milner, Mil Mil Milner. I, he has the hammer in his hand. So those, while independently aren't that much, that's one, two, three, four different extra things, small, minor extra things that added up that I had to build on him. And I ran into a little bit of trouble getting the arm together. So, yeah, I just, you know, not, to make, not to say that it was difficult, but I guess for the Legends models, he was one of the more challenging Legends models by just a little bit. Instead of taking a half hour or, or 40 minutes, he took 50, or just about 50. So, interesting little bit right there. Still, though, I guess I would say that as far as Legends models, if you're going to collect the Legends models, and I imagine that if you're going to build these models, it's probably your intention. You're going to collect them. If you're going to collect them, I would not start with Thor. I would not have him as the first one that I build. So start with the other Marvel models or the other Legends models, however you want to do it ones that don't have the extra things in their hand or on their head to build yourself up and save Thor as one of the last ones that you build because by the time you get to that point it won't be any big deal. They are not super simple models but they are fairly easy models. They are fairly good beginners models for you to start with getting into Metal Earth and their collector items so you can have several different little figures that don't take you that long to do. So still it fits within the theme the way I see it, with the Legends models being neat little collector's models, kind of like, you know, your little not-so-vinyl pop figures that you can collect and make yourself, which I personally think is an extra thing. Having spent a lot of time around crafty people and being a crafty person myself, there's something extra about a thing that you use your own hands to put together. But that's my opinion. This just about completes all of the Legends models for me. I have but one more to go, so I imagine there'll be new Legends models coming to stores near you very soon, because that tends to be the way it works out. This has been an enjoyable build, and I've enjoyed putting all these Legends models together. They're simple, so if you're looking for a great big challenge, these aren't the way to go, but if you're looking for something fairly easy, or in my case, I do like the challenging models sometimes, like the Megatron that I've been working on, but I also like to take a break and do something a little bit simpler, and these certainly fit the build. And they're fun to build, and they're neat little collectors to have, and neat little things to look at. So, very nice. Also, one last note, if you find that your model, especially the lake area, comes together different than mine, you might have one of the newer designs of this model. The, this is the original design. They redesigned them when they came out with the Guardians of the Galaxy models. The new redesign is a little bit easier, and I like it better, but this is still not that bad. So if you find you've got a slightly different setup in yours, you might want to check out one of the Guardians of the Galaxy models to see how they come together and just make some altercations as far as the, the hammer and arm, or hammer, and the arms are probably the same, and the headpiece is probably the same, but the legs and the body is going to be a little bit different. So between the two videos, check them both out, one of the Guardians videos and this video, to figure out how to build yours if yours is a little bit different. Leave it at that. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoy these videos, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Just a little bit helps keep these videos going, this channel going, and helps supply these models. And I thank you for your support. You can check out in the link in the description down below at the very end of this video. Thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on.